Hey guys, check out this amazing day here at Gorge River. Now one of my favourite things to do when I'm at home is to actually go out to these rocks here and catch blue cod. So I've got Sarah staying with me at the moment and that's what we're going to do today. This is my home at Gorge River. It's always a little bit of an adventure getting out here, but you've just got to make sure you get the timing right getting from the water up onto the rock and then the timing right getting off the beach in the first place. That's the two critical points of the whole trip, otherwise it's pretty easy. Going home is easy because you just jump off the rock into the water and then you just get washed up on the beach at the other end. Now we're going to get the fishing rod set up and we're going to get to some fishing, hopefully catch some blue cod. It's just like being on a boat except we don't get seasick which is really good. <laughs> blue cod from about 5 meter depth up to um, I don't know, 30, 40, 100 and fishing here is 14 meters so it's a prime blue cod spot. Um, when we come into this rock we can usually catch quite a few cod, they're quite easy to get here. Uh, we, we don't only take what we need of course so today we're going to be probably taking about 4 or 5 uh, blue cod hopefully if we get that many. Sometimes we catch um, quite a few sharks like sand sharks, school sharks, rig, um, spotty dogs, that sort of thing, and they get up to about that big. We once got something bigger than that, not sure what it was. Or we can also catch terrakee sometimes, sometimes as well. I'd love to catch terrakee because we don't catch many, and it's something different. is a part of the Gorge Islands. It's this tiny little rock that sits about 400 meters 
further to the south of the main rocks that you can see behind and the rock itself is really really jagged it's very sharp so it's quite hard to walk around on the island you've got to be wearing good footwear growing up in a place like Gorge River has given me an amazing appreciation for nature and the power of nature and coming out to a rock like this is nothing to be taken lightly I've done this a few times but I know exactly what day to do it it's got to be really calm weather not too much wind, not too many currents in the ocean. Otherwise, coming out to a place like this on a bodyboard can be pretty dodgy. We come out here on bodyboards because um, if you go out on a boat and a boat goes upside down, you're in big trouble. But if you're actually on a bodyboard and big waves come along and smash you, you just climb back on the board and keep going. So I've never had any issues. I've been out here about 10 times. We've been out here for a couple of hours now. We'll be warming ourselves up on this side of the rock. It's a little bit windy and a wee bit cold on the other side. But now we're nice and warm. We've caught ourselves seven blue cod today and it's time for us to swim back to shore and head home and deal with the fish. Going back is probably easier than coming out. The only difference is we've got a bag full of fish and obviously blood going everywhere. So we're actually putting the blue cod into a catch bag which goes inside a black rubbish bag. Hopefully that stops some of the blood. You just put everything into a backpack and then jump onto the board. Make sure you time it right, jump off the rock into a wave. When we get close to the beach, usually some waves will like pick us up and push us, kind of surf us into shore. And it's nice and fast that way. And sometimes there's no waves, so you've got to kick the whole way in, which is a little bit boring. We're back at the house but our wetsuits are super salty so we're just going to jump in the river really quick and have a swim and jump off some trees and clean our wetsuits. That's all for today. That was pretty awesome little adventure going out to the rock there and catching some blue cod. Maybe don't try that one at home unless you really understand the local currents and, and ocean. I've lived here most of my life so I understand the waves and the wind and the currents really well and I'd only do that on a really good day. So that was really good to get out there today um, and it was awesome to take Sarah out there for the first time. It was her first time out there and that was really good so i'm gonna end the video here lovely starting evening and i hope you enjoyed if you did please like share comment and subscribe otherwise until our next gorgeous adventure cheers for watching